Today we will show you how to adjust the scope of the F theta 100 lens, 200 lens, and 300 lens. And first we need to put on the 100 lens on the laser height. Collect here. Then choose the workspace. We need to set the size, width 100 and height 100. Here, X and Y, we need to set 50 and 50. Then click OK. Then we need to draw a square and set the size 100 and 100. Then click apply button and put it in the center. Now we can uh, uh, we can set the speed. 1000, the power, maybe we can set 40. Then click light button. Adjust the focus distance. Because our 100 lights have the uh, extra red dot. So we need to keep the two dots together. Then the distance from the bottom of the laser hatch and the top of the bench is the focus distance. Now we can click mark button. Stop. Then click mark. Okay, now we need to use the ruler. Measure it. This is the x, the x axis. This is the y. Uh, I will uh, I will uh, explain. Because here we choose the gamma two is x axis. So gamma two is x. Now we need to click here. We just set one hundred, but the real mark is 90 so we need to click ok now we need, need to set the y axis now we can see the y axis it, it's a uh, it's 90 i think so here we click this button set the real mark is 90 now click ok then click apply. OK button. Now we can we can mark again. Now stop. Then click mark. Now you can see the X axis is is one hundred millimeter. The y axis is 100 millimeter. Okay, now this is the right parameters. Now we need to remove the 100 lens. Now take out the 200 millimeter lens. We need to re remove the the, the the lens because the 200 lens have one lens here, so we put it directly. This uh, F theta lens is OPEX brand. Yeah. Yeah. After 
to after we change the uh, 200 length and first we need to find the focus so we can edit the text uh, input bogo click apply then set it we can set 0 0.03 then choose the continue mark then click light button you can see now stop here stop it and then click mark button now we need to use rotary the hand wheel because you can see the laser come up the strongest will be the focus distance this point is the focus point now this is on the focus now put on the uh, one paper or metal sheet now click F3 button here we need to change 200 and 200 click okay this button the workspace 100 here is 100 the size is 200 and 200 okay now we need to edit a square set set the size 200 and 200 click apply button then put it in the center then click light button Use the ruler. You can see the, the, the mark is uh, 200. Yeah. 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 The real mark is uh, 207. So here we need to input the goal mark is 200. The real mark is 207. Click OK. Now we need to measure the y axis. It's 208. No. Here is uh, 200. The real is uh, 208. Click OK. Now we need to check again. The last button. Let's stop, click mark. You can see the X axis is 200 millimeters. The y axis is 200 millimeters. Now we remove the 200 lens. If you use the OPEX uh, F theta lens, you need to remove the lens. Use the, this one. This is the lens which connects the laser height and F theta lens. Now put on the 300 lens. Uh, after 
change the 300 lens, first we need to find the focus. So same method, we need to uh, import the Bogo Hattach and find the focus at first. Hattach it. Click light button. Rotary the hand wheel. Until the laser come up and it changes to the strongest. Now the laser is on the focus. The distance from here to here is the focus distance. Okay, now we need to find to the black seat. Okay, remove this one first. We can change the field size in 300 and then here, workspace, here to the 150, 150, the size is 300 and 300, then click OK. Now we edit a square, set the size is 300 and 300. Apply button, then put it in the center. Now click the light button. Now click the mark button. Now use the ruler. Check the X axis. It is 292. Now click on F3. Here. Here, input 300. The real is 292. Now we need to measure the Y axis. It's 293, 292. Then click this button. The real mark is 292. Then click OK. Then we can click again. Thank you.